Hey guys, my computer's drunk. Well, I'm back here. Took a little time off, but now we're doing some more videos again. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to uh, virtualize uh, Linux or Ubuntu, any kind of Linux operating system on a Mac. Um, you can also virtualize uh, Windows on Mac too. Uh, the newer Macs, it's not such a big deal because you can uh, install Windows and run it uh, on a separate partition, but uh, this is just so if you want to uh, try out like Ubuntu or something on a Mac without fully installing it, um, you can go ahead and virtualize it, which is really nice. So I'll show you that. First, we need to download uh, it's a free program called VirtualBox. There's a few other ones you could download too that do um, virtualization, uh, but but this one's free. Um, you could download it for Windows, Mac, Linux, and Solaris. I went ahead and downloaded it already, um, and then I also went ahead to Ubuntu's website, ubuntu.com, and I downloaded their desktop operating system. So we can go ahead and uh, virtualize that so we can play around with Ubuntu if you want to get to know how to use it or uh, whatever. So first we've got VirtualBox here. Go ahead and unpack that and then run it. The uh, program is pretty simple. It's just a standard installer. I'm just going to use all the uh, the defaults here. I don't need to worry about it. So I'm lightening that. We got VirtualBox installed. Uh, as you can see, it only took uh, a couple seconds. So I'll go ahead and get uh, open that up, and then we're, we're going to go ahead and create a new virtual machine. We'll call it Ubuntu. And it already knew what we were trying to do. Um, now for memory size and stuff, you're going to want to use enough so it's smooth, um, but at the same time, you don't want to use all your resources. I'm going to use around four, four gigs, because this uh, this Mac has plenty of plenty of RAM in it, so I can use uh, and get away with four pretty easy. And then this is just asking. Uh, The hard drive what do we want to do do we want to use an existing one or make it now or whatever we'll create it now um, and you can pick the formats uh, this is nice because uh, they never used to have this but you can go ahead and just leave the uh, the defaults so that's fine and then it's dynamic or fixed size uh, dynamic just means that it'll make it as small as it can to start and as you use more space it'll make it bigger which is fine. Uh, that does kind of affect performance of the virtual machine, um, but for this, it doesn't doesn't really matter. We're gonna just do that. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and make this uh, twenty, uh, close to twenty is fine. You can make it whatever size you want. All right, so that's created. I like to go into the settings and then go ahead and um, check out some of the settings. So this would be where we define like our uh, the memory, like we already set that uh, processor. So in this case, we only have one CPU set. We definitely want more than that. Uh, for this case, I'm going to use two. And then acceleration, yeah, we can leave those on. Usually, a lot of times the defaults are fine, um, but we'll go ahead and. Just change the CPU number to two. So display. Yeah, that's fine. I won't go over all the details of um, how the VirtualBox works, but because uh, most of the defaults work, but you can uh, get pretty crazy with the configurations. Uh, so right now we're going to add a.
ISO, and this is the actual Ubuntu operating system I downloaded from Ubuntu. Basically what this is doing, we're just connecting it to uh, the virtual machine so it knows it's there. So this would be the hard drive and then this would be the, uh, the CD-ROM, essentially, um, so it can boot up. And normally, um, I don't use NAT, I use a, a bridge adapter and then I can pick my adapter. In this case, I'm on Wi-Fi, so I'm going to use that. So this allows my virtual machine to get internet, um, and bridge just means it's just going to bridge the adapter, kind of pass it through. So um, if you're limited on IP addresses or whatever, you can do NAT. Um, but I, I'm not because, I mean, it's a private IP address. So, uh, But use your bridge adapter and then your your where you get your internet from. So I'm getting it from the uh, Wi-Fi. There we go. And now all we do is start. What this will do is this will start the install process. As you can see, it uh, capture. All right, as you can see, it just uh, it's booting up right now. Right, give it a second here. This will take a couple minutes. There we go. Size that window a little better there. All right, so you can try it. Um, basically, that's just. It's booting from the CD, and it's just loading everything in memory. Um, so you can try it out, see how you like it, or you can install it. Um, and since we set this up and this is going to be a VM, um, we can go ahead and install it. Because uh, we that's what the whole point of the VM, the virtual machine, is. And we can just go through the steps here real quick. Um, then I'll go ahead and pause this because this will probably take a few minutes. But if you have Windows or you have another version of Linux that you want to install in a virtual machine, it's it's all very similar to this. Um, you're just you're making a container and you're installing the operating system to that. So it's an operating system running inside an operating system. Um, So while this is installing, uh, like I mentioned before, a uh, virtual machine is basically you're just creating a little container within the operating system. So in this case, I'm running Mac. Um, what am I running here? Okay, 10.9. Um, so we install the software, and then in the software, it uses the Mac resources to run an operating system within the Mac. Um, this is actually going pretty fast here. So once this is done installing, we can boot it up and we can use, uh, in this case, Ubuntu, try it out. You know, you can use it, abuse it, break it, doesn't matter. You can just reinstall it. Um, or you can actually take a snapshot after you get it all set up. Uh, and then if you do something wrong, you can just revert back to the, uh, the uh, snapshot that you took um, and it'll be back to new. So uh, it's pretty easy. A quick way to uh, test out uh, software or have yourself a little server or something running inside your Mac or your PC. So, there you go.